I gave you a teddy bear that I won, specifically stating where and when I got it. Hmm? Seriously? Amanda walks to the window. Someone slides the drapes open. There's a big Ferris wheel in the distance. Oh, right, that one. I thought you meant another carnival. You're coming with me tonight, right? Gosh, honey, I don't know. I've got all this... I look down at the mug of coffee and word jumbles in my hands. Pressing business I need to attend to. Amanda points to my word jumble. Yeah. Park dog clock cereal. I knew that. I totally knew that. The secret word that they all spell is pool. Hey, you're pretty good at this. <clears throat> now you don't have an excuse. You're coming with me. Amanda pushes me into my bedroom and forces me to change out of my bathrobe. Wear something nice. I want some arm candy tonight. I love this child. Uh, <laughs> Got it. I know flip-flops. Not after last time. We don't talk about last time. Amanda and I step outside and follow the faint sound of carnival music. So what's the first thing you're going to do at the fair? Hmm. Eat greasy food, like deep fried everything, put it in my mouth. I don't care if it's tasty, uh, if it isn't tasty to start. I believe that deep frying process can transmute non-tasty thing into a tasty thing. She's not wrong. Yeah. Please don't throw up this oh. time. I know my limits. You said that last huh? time. I was still calibrating. I'm dialed in now. You'll ride the rides with me, right? If you're looking for someone to ride scary rides with, that's a straight veto from the dad constitution, a constituency. However, I am happy to stand at the fence and take blurry photos of you while we're riding the rides as per dad custom. Define scary rides. Anything that moves. Hmm. Aw, well, Sullivan. Fun. Huh. Hmm, maybe we'll find someone at the carnival who'll go on rides with me. Wouldn't that be a surprise? Yeah, maybe one of your friends from school will be there. Like, um... That one with the eyebrows? Eh? Teresa? She's got mono. Uh, what about the one who vapes? Alex got suspended for vaping in the school bathroom. Well, I hear carnival rides are fun as a solo rider. But then I'd have not, uh, no one to puke on. Huh. Or will I? What? Hey, look, we're here. Ah. The carnival is packed with people from all over town. Screaming kids run around with cotton candy and buckets of soda clutched in their grubby fists. Colorful lights flash all around us. I feel like just smelling the air will clog my arteries. It will. Hey, look, let's go over to the greasy foods cart. Yes. Actually, the best thing to do is ride all your rides first and then eat like an idiot. Yeah. Amanda leads me by the hand in what seems like a very specific direction. <laughs> I know, my favorite one is around here somewhere. Ah. Uh. It's a setup? Yeah, this whole thing is a setup. Wait a second, is that... Brian? Wow, look who it is! Sure enough, it's Brian and his daughter Daisy. Brian has the same confused look on his face that I'm sure mm -hmm. I have. What a coincidence! We all happen to be in the same, here at the same time in the exact same place. Wow, this is so weird! Can you believe we just happened to come to the carnival on the same night <sighs> at the same time? Yes, Daisy. That's so strange. How bizarre. Brian. Solomon. I can feel my competitive fires burning inside me again. Last we met, Brian had made a fool of me by besting me at fishing and then out humbling me in front of his my very own daughter. I still want that pole song. Hmm. There's plenty of midway games here. Hey! Okay, how about we go hang, uh, hang out as a team and explore the carnival together? Yes, Amanda. That sounds like an amazing idea. Let's all go and do stuff. Together. Amanda and I follow Brian and Daisy as they lead us towards some rides. I can't believe Brian's here. Oh. Dad, you need to relax. Daisy and I have been spending a lot of time together. She helps me with my algebra homework. And I've been corrupting her with young soul with rock and roll music. Oh, that's my girl. She's really cool and you and Brian won't stop complaining about each other. Oh, he's complaining about me? Uh. No, Dad, that's not what I meant. If you and Brian would just talk to each other, maybe you would see you have a lot in common. See, now I gotta turn it up to 11. Brian's getting obliterated. Oh. Dad, you have chill. Please chill, for my sake. I'm chill. I'm so chill. I'm, like, stupidly chill. And once I, pr and once I prove once and for all that I'm clearly the better dad, I'll be so chill you could call me liquid nitrogen. I will destroy him. Dad. Dad. I spot the entrance to the midway. A perfect opportunity. Oh, God. 
Well, yes, I should save in case there's hey, another Hey, Ryan, game. check it out. Want to get a couple games in? Hmm? That sounds fun. Maybe a little friendly competition. Uh? No, we wanted to check out some clowns over there. Amanda, you're scared of clowns. Overruled. Oh. Okay, fine, sure, let's play some games. But if we spend a whole night in there, I'm filing for emancipation. You're 18. Oh, lighten up. I'll win you something nice. Oh. And I'll win you something nice too, Daisy. I'll win more nice than Brian's. Hey. I'd like to see you try. Brian and I glare at each other. He's not really glaring. See? No, that? Amanda is glaring. <laughs> yeah. Daisy's just kind of like, I am so tired of this bullshit. We've been at it for longer than I'd like to admit. Amanda and Daisy sigh heavily at each new game Brian and I challenge each other to. Their arms overburdened with stuffed animals and t-shirts with rainbows airbrushed onto them. For every game I win, Brian seems to answer <sighs> back. Dad, please, enough. Just one last game, honey. <laughs> so, Solomon, we're tied. What's the ultimate prize? I spot it from across the midway. We lock eyes. It swims absentmindedly in the bowl of water. The, that goldfish will be mine. Amanda, sweetie, how about I win you a goldfish? Ugh. If it'll get you out of here, sh Great. I look over at Brian. We don't say a word, but our locked eyes confirm it. The person who wins the goldfish wins the night. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's ski ball. You any good? I'm the, I'm best. the best ski ball player to ever grace this earth. You gotta say, because I get the feeling we're gonna have a fucking mini game. Ah. I think you can handle me. Still willing to put up your weed whacker? Only if you're willing to part with that pole saw. Long grooming equipment goes to the ski ball champ. We share an earnest shake. Okay. Dude, you could just ask ski him to do ball. the fucking ski that ball. All right. Pole saws. How does it I work? have no idea how this works. Oh god. Uh, oh god. Damn it. Oh. He's beating us. I don't know the, the fucking. God damn it. I'm gonna have to reload this shit. I need to get it. Damn it. I can't hit any of the big numbers. not believing. Hold on to that feeling. No, you sack of fu Oh my god, we still won! Yeah. Huh. The bell sounds and lights flash. It feels like things are moving in slow motion. The guy running the booth points at me. I turn to Brian and his face is priceless. The attendant reaches up and dumps the goldfish in a plastic baggie. My hand shakes as he passes it to me. I've done it. I've finally done it. The fish is mine. The pole saw is mine. Victory is mine. I have bested Brian. You won fair and square. I hold the goldfish above my head, brandishing it aloft for the world to see. Be cool. Be cool. Yeah. Actually, I should say, probably say I couldn't have done it without Amanda. Cause I guess. You yeah. know, you take your W's where you can get your W's. But I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the love and support of my dear daughter, Amanda. Aww. Dad. I do it all for you, kiddo. <sighs> Dad. I hand her the fish. May this fish represent our unbreakable bond. Amanda, what would you like to name your new friend? How about... Brian? Betrayed by my own flesh and blood. I am devastated. Right. Who wants to check out the Ferris wheel? <laughs> uh, I think we should reload. Probably, yeah. Because we got no reaction, so yeah, it'd be cool. Alright, yeah, be cool. I think better of my hubris and slowly lower the goldfish bag into Amanda's hands. It was nothing. Amanda, what would you like to name your new friend? Yeah. How about hey. Ryan? Et to Amanda. Hey. Wanna go the first wheel next? Alright, apparently. Alright, yeah, let's just go. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna ride the Ferris ah. wheel. Of course. I'll hang out and watch you guys. Still not a fan of carnival rides. Yeah. 
I'd be happy to ride some rides with you kids. I'm just kidding. I love carnival rides. I'm the best at them. For fuck's sake! We traversed the fair and ended up at the relatively short line for the Ferris wheel. It doesn't seem like a popular ride. Daisy and Amanda chat excitedly. I can feel Brian glaring at me. So how do you how did you do on the trick final? Hmm. Way better than I thought I would. Those cosine problems still trip me up, so I had to try, so I drew a cat instead of answering the questions, and my teacher gave me a point for effort. <laughs> wow, is high school really that easy? Oh. Absolutely yes. The school of hard knocks, though. That's another story. Amanda playfully punches Daisy on the arm. Welcome to the streets. Eh? You check uh, you check out that art book I gave you? Yeah, I love the section on female photographers. <laughs> You have good taste. You know, I bet your photos will be in a book someday. Mm -hmm. Daisy, stop, or I'll cry. <laughs> They're too cute. Next. <laughs> Amanda pushes me forward. You, you first. first. Oh, sorry. I sit down in the carriage. <laughs> and now you. <laughs> that is a strong little child. Daisy <laughs> pushes Brian into the car carriage next to me. Before I can say anything, the ride operator closes the gate. I was going to say, she's got a low center of gravity. She probably just aimed for the back of his knees. Yeah. <laughs> now wait just a second. We're going to get some deep fried pickles. You take, take the time to work on your differences. Ha <laughs> ha! Hold deep on. Deep fried pickles are delicious. Yeah. Get mm -hmm. along! <laughs> Amanda and Daisy run off into the crowd. The ride starts moving. I sit in the Ferris wheel with my arms crossed, not talking to Brian. I don't even know what a man's talking about. Neither do I. Our carriage creeps slowly upward. Ferris wheels are boring. Could this ride go any slower? Hmm. Oh, it's too fast for you? That's not what I meant. How could this get any worse? Suddenly the ride jerks to a halt with us at the very top of the wheel. I can hear the faint yell of the ride operator down below. Sorry, folks. Ride stuck. Because the raccoon must have stolen a key component of the motor. The very crafty animals are frequently attracted to shiny objects. So it makes sense that they would build for something like that. Anyway, it'll be some time before I can get y'all down. So settle in and get cozy. Well. But hey. No hand stuff while you're up there. What? Saying no hand jobs. And yeah. Like, All right, yeah. I know. Well, the... I know about stuff either. Well, this is just great. I look down at the expanse of the carnival. I hate to admit it, but it's a pretty good view. I spot someone at the food cart melting cheese into a pile of stinging steak, steaming steak and peppers. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Why didn't we get that funnel cake first? My stomach rumbles. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know that sound. <laughs> Brian reaches into his cargo shorts and pulls out some fruit leather? dried compressed you know like fruit it's basically fruit by the foot okay offering it to me hmm cherry or mango cherry i don't want your stupid fruit leather <laughs> brian opens one and starts eating it fine my stomach growls again god damn it why did i take the fruit leather we sit in silence as the crowd begins to form under us a group of carnival workers attempt to attempt to restart the engine I suddenly remember that I have a tiny book of world jumbles and a golf pencil in my pocket. I pull them out and start working on a fresh page, determined not to look at Brian. Mm -hmm. Hey, I always bring a puzzle book with me, too. Brian pulls out a small book of crossword puzzles and a pen. Are you, Are you kidding me? I throw, I throw my book of world jumbles off the side of the Ferris wheel in a fit of rage. Oh, then we can find it when we get off this thing. Ah, oh, shucks. Here, you can do my crosswords. Brian holds his book and pen out to me with a smile. Absolutely not. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Solomon, you're being a real dickbag. Why do you hate me so much? Hate you? Why do you think you're better than Whoa. me? What? I don't think I'm better than you. Oh, okay, so you're just offering me fruit snacks and crosswords out of the kindness of your Whoa. heart. Uh, yes? A likely story. All you do is brag about your smart kid and your landscaping and your stupid weed whacker. Actually, it's your stupid weed whacker. I'm sick of it! Whoa. All it is one up me every chance you get. The only thing I wouldn't win is a one upping other people competition because you would win that because that's what you do. Hmm. I don't do it on purpose. Wait, what? You're messing with me, right? 
No. But... I don't know. I don't think I'm better than you at all. You and your daughter are amazing. I thought we were just competing for fun at first, but the more we started doing it, the more it felt like you must hate me. And the more we did it, the more I wanted to impress you. There were times when I did want to beat you, Solomon, but really I wanted was for you to like me. Oh my god. I feel like such an ass. You are! Uh, let's see. Be honest with Brian, be honest with yourself, or be an asshole. Uh, be honest with Brian, I guess. Yeah. Uh, actually, reload. Be honest with yourself. Alright. Brian, I'm so sorry. This whole time. It's all so clear now. Is this what Amanda was trying to tell me? I've just been projecting my insecurities onto you. Everything about you makes me feel inadequate. I think I was just trying to tear you down to compensate for my own low self-esteem. I feel like a total idiot. I'm being totally honest. I think you're really cool and strong and a good dad. And you're really... Maybe we don't go there just yet. Uh, anyway, I have a lot of respect for you, Brian. I'm sorry I got so weird and jealous. I think if you're willing to forgive me, we could probably be good friends. We sit in silence for a second. <laughs> and we start over. What do you mean? From the beginning. Brian holds out his hand. Hey. Hi, I'm Brian. I take his hand and shake it vigorously. Hey, Brian. I'm Solomon. It's really nice to meet you. Great shirt. Thanks, Solomon. Brian and I look at each other. We both share a smirk over this silly little game, but it feels good to be on the same side for once. All right, Hug. Thanks for being patient. Turned out the raccoon didn't steal the part, but was instead still rummaging around in the inner workings of the engine. We formed a, we formed a w oh. wary yet mutually oh. beneficial truce. <laughs> The carriage starts moving and we find ourselves down on dry land in no time. Brian and I wander around for a bit looking for Daisy and Amanda. You know, getting stuck on that Ferris wheel could have been worse. I'm glad we worked things out. Hey. Me too, buddy. <laughs> now that's over with, we can get some, uh, bo burp. We can get home quietly to our evenings. Agreed. Dad. Hey. Amanda and Daisy run up to us. I think you kids will be pleased to find out that Brian and I have worked out our different... Whoa! Dad, that's great and all, but Brian's in trouble. But Brian's right hit. The fish, Brian. What? Ah! Daisy and I got to the log flume, and when we were going downhill, Brian just flew right out of the log, and is hanging from some pipe on the ride. We have to save him. I realize I like animals, but it's a fucking fish. But Brian's right... Fish. Brian the fish. Oh, right. Come on. We spread over to the log flume, spotting Brian the fish stuck up in the rafters of the ride. We'll get you down, little buddy. Uh, we'll have to get Brian before the fair closes, or who knows what'll happen to him. They'll mm -hmm. knock him down and put him back in the uh, prize ro rota. But the fair closes in ten minutes, or they'll leave him there and let it die because it's a fucking fish. I guess we need to hustle then. What's the plan? Well, one of the ride tracks lasts 90 seconds. Brian's ha hanging from a pipe right above the drop, so you have a window of about 10 seconds to grab him. Hmm. Wow, you just did all that math in your head? That's really impressive. I, I just counted. It's not that impressive. Mm, I'm so proud of you, honey. Okay. That rafter's pretty high up. How are we going to reach him? We all think for a second. Whoa. I've got it. I'll ride on your shoulders. No, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. I'll die. Brian went over to the midway to the last game that we played and sank a pole from the game attendant that they used to grab stuffed animals. I think this will do the trick. Amanda presses two ticket stubs into my hand. They would not let you take that on the ride. Nope. Mm -hmm. Here, these are our last two tickets. Brian's fate is in your hands now. Uh... There's no time. Come on. Brian leads me by the hand to the entrance of the long flume, getting there just in the nick of time. Mm -hmm. Looks like you guys are the last ones. We take our seats on the slippery vinyl. The ride operator pulls the bar down over our laps. Hmm. You ready for this? No, wait. You don't have that song reference. The log starts drifting down the fake river. Unnaturally, blue water sloshes over the sides, soaking my shoes. This is gross. You know how earlier I said...